This is the unit three review and we're looking at slide number five, which is concept nine, modeling with quadratics. Um, so this is a real life application of a quadratic. So Jack throws a baseball. The path can be modeled by the equation given where Y is the height and T is the time. What is the greatest height the ball will reach on its path? So before we try to start solving the problem, let's look at what it's asking for. So you have t is time, y is height, and we have some parabola here that opens down. So I don't know where that parabola is going to be, but it's going to look something like this because it opens down. What is the greatest height the ball will reach? The greatest height is the vertex of this parabola. So let's see if we can find the vertex of this parabola by getting it in graphing form. So I'm going to go ahead and factor out the a value and then complete the square. So b divided by 2 squared is 25. This would give me a negative 50 on this side. So y minus 50 equals negative 2, t minus 5 squared. We're looking for the height, which is the y value of the vertex. So our vertex is at 5, 50, the maximum height is the y value, so the maximum height is at 50 feet. So to go along with this question, we have another question on slide number 10, which looks almost identical as this question here. So we're still on concept 9, but now we're on um, slide 10. So he throws the baseball, you have the equation. Now the question is how many seconds will it take? for the ball to reach its maximum height. So we've really done all the work already, but now if we're looking for the time, that's the x-axis, so we're looking for the x-coordinate of this vertex, which we already found by finding the vertex. So five, and we're in seconds, is how long it would take for the ball to reach that maximum point. 